Hello, 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 my lovely, lovely friends. Thank you for joining me here on A Journey in Light. My name is Joy. Hello. I hope everyone is doing well, um, hanging in there, all that fun stuff. Uh, today we have a pick a card and we are doing what to expect in the week ahead. Um, so these are just some things that could be coming up for you um, in the week ahead. <laughs> um, and just some things to, to keep in mind or to think about or um, yeah, just be mindful of uh, in the next week. So we have three piles today. I have pile one, which is this lovely dragonfly little charm. Pile two is this angel and it says, all is well with my soul. And three is this little hot air balloon. So um, take a moment, take a deep breath, go with whichever pile you feel drawn to the most. If you're being drawn to more than one, then you could have messages in more than one pile. This is a general reading. Um, so sometimes that happens, they kind of, you, you need two piles to, to get your full message for the week. But again, you know, take a deep breath, go with whichever you're drawn to the most. Sometimes people will pick by the time, the number on the timestamp if they're not sure. So those will be in the description box below. Uh, so feel free to choose however you're being drawn to do so. So again, pile one, pile two, and pile three. Um, and I will see you at your pile. Oh, and one thing, we will be pulling charms at the end of this. So don't forget at the end of each pile, we'll pull charms and letters because that's always really fun in the week ahead ones that I do. All right, guys, see you at your pile. Hello, my lovely friends for pile one guys pick this dragonfly so some of you guys might have you know an attachment to dragonflies or be a light worker that tends to be the light worker symbol things like that so we'll put this little guy up here and what can we expect in the week ahead for you guys so we're going to start off with the tarot for the overall energy of your week and you guys have the eight of wands and it has six of wands so, I mean, both really good cards, both cards of, you know, this forward momentum very quickly. Uh, so if you've been feeling really stagnant, I think that things are going to be changing in the next week ahead very quickly, but in a really successful manner. Six of Wands is all about success, recognition, things like that. So you're going to be seen um, maybe even praise for some stuff you've been doing, maybe some stuff you've been working hard on, um, maybe even like recognizing some change in yourself that you've been maybe you've been working on healing yourself things like that um i just feel like this group has been doing a lot of self work and maybe feeling like is it going anywhere um in the recent past and i feel like things are going to be changing and you're going to be like there's going to be a lot to celebrate um coming up this week and it just feels like oh, finally we're, we're moving forward we're not stagnant anymore we're not stuck in this hamster wheel it's just this forward momentum that um is coming in for this week let me pull these up a little bit okay so next we're gonna do love so what is your advice or coming up in love so you guys have release attachments. It says, let go of unhealthy attachments and connections that no longer serve you. Release the past so new doors can open. This is a period to get in touch with your inner strength and reclaim your personal power. Move forward to be free. These cards are about forward movement. Endings always bring new beginnings. So um, if some of you guys, if, if a past love or something like that has been holding you back or just just past in general so you know maybe the love part doesn't fit for you but something you've been holding on to the past that's like halting you from moving forward maybe it's time to let that go or you've been working on letting that go and that's when you'll start to see this paying off um, we also have codependency here so that kind of reminds me of this attachment um, kind of things these two cards really go hand in hand um, so if you are like feeling that's you know being stuck and sorry I keep harping on this um, and you don't quite know how to move forward just kind of self-reflect is there anything that you're holding on to that's no longer serving you um, that might be what is is the last little tweak you need to really propel yourself forward and where you want to go um, so that's just something something to be mindful of um, 
and uh, it says addictions are affecting your romantic life. So um, that could be someone else too. So if this doesn't relate to you, this might be someone that you're dealing with. Um, I know codependency, we hear that and no one wants to label themselves a codependent, but sometimes it just takes that moment to really look back and be like, what, what uh, unhealthy attachments might I have that I need to release or tweak or reevaluate that may be holding me back? Um, because again, that's like that's it. Like you guys just need to tweak these little attachments. Again, it could be a person, a uh, substance, a way of thinking, a way of life, something that's not serving you, holding on to past experiences that may have really hurt and kind of you felt like have defined you, but they're no longer serving you and it's time to move forward to the next chapter. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop going down that rabbit hole because uh, you guys get it. For those that message was for, you guys get it. So let's keep going. Um, so for the sacred traveler, you guys have ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. Again, this very, I, I, don't, I don't look at these until I do the readings. I pull them ahead of time in a meditative kind of state, but I don't read them until I'm here. So I kind of really love that this is all just blending together, this forward movement, this like, you know, you may be going over some big obstacles, but you're just keep going, keep trucking. You've been doing a really good job um, and you're, it, it's gonna be very successful. It's gonna, I'm hearing like, it's gonna start clicking this week. Everything you've been working on is gonna click. Um, okay, so for, <laughs> okay, for your, um, what Oracle deck is this? Sorry. For the spirit animal oracle, I wanted to make sure I said it right, you guys got eagle spirit and it says spirit has your back. So for me, for a recent change I went into, the eagle was um, a signifier for me for when to make this decision or have a discussion. Uh, <laughs> so, and it, it signifies freedom. And um, the, the number on the card here is 23, which reduces to five, and five is about changes. So again, these, these changes, it's, it's letting these things go that have been holding you back because it's time for you to soar, it's time for you to move forward and know that, you know, the universe, God, your angels, spirit, whatever you want to call it, all the good stuff is really, really helping propel you forward. Uh, you just got to keep going. You're, you're, you're getting there. Um, and it's really quite beautiful, the energy that's coming up in this reading for you guys. Um, all right, so um, I pulled a Work Your Light Oracle uh, for this week, and this could be for light workers, um, or just, you know, if you're not, if you don't relate to being a light worker, it's not a, you don't have to be. Um, it's just where can you focus your light and your good energies towards this week? And you guys got Star Mother, and it says, how can you mother yourself? So this might be more about um, really making sure as you've been doing all this work that you are loving yourself in the process, that maybe you're not pouring into everyone else. Uh, make sure you're, you're pouring into yourself. And for some of you guys, if you guys have been working really, really, really hard um, and that breakthrough is coming, as that unfolds, allow yourself to be proud of where you are and nurture and maybe take a little bit of a rest from all this forward movement. Um, as in like when it clicks, just know that, you know, make sure that you like reward yourself uh, is the message that I'm getting about that. But just make sure, you know, you're mothering yourself and you're taking care of yourself. Um, the last card for the reading where I, I pulled up, like, where can you heal? Like, where do you need some healing? We're never done healing. It never ends. So <laughs> sorry if you think that it's ever going to stop. We're always going to be continuing to work on ourselves and heal different parts of ourselves. Um, and so you guys are, let's, your, your focus is growth. Um, Some of you guys, it may be um, surrounding creative endeavors um, where you're going to see some growth or you maybe need to heal like your inner child so it can grow more. Um, the reason I'm talking about that is the color in this card, which is a sacral so chakra kind of color. And you guys do have a lot of orange in here as well. Uh, so maybe, you know, healing some past uh, inner child stuff uh, this week so you can actually transform and grow forward because anything um, anything you've been working on is going to only help you in the long run and I really feel like you guys are going to be soaring this week um, it's just really really cool overall reading I want to see if anything else comes through before I pull your charms 
I just keep hearing you're ready to fly. It's it's like really like he's got wings on his shoes here. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see this little mouse guy. He's got wings on his shoes. And it's like, it's time for you guys to soar. You guys have the eagle. We have, you know, butterflies all through this card. It's just really time for you guys to shine. Like it is your week, <laughs> guys. It's your, your week, big time. So let's see what we get for your guys' letters and charms. I'm gonna do a Zodiac dice first to see uh, who you may be dealing with this week. All right, so we have Taurus came up for you guys. Let's pull you guys some letters. Sometimes we like to spell stuff. Sometimes they're people initials. Sometimes it's initials of a place that means something to you. Um, oh, they all were upside down. All right, so we have an X, a T. So I'm hearing exit. We have a B, U, T, but. <laughs> um, Tut. I don't know, an Egyptian thing just popped in my head. Um, whatever oop, that means to you, again, could be someone's initials, TT, UT, BT, uh, lots of different things <laughs> can be seen there. Take that as you guys will. All right, and so for pile one, what other messages can we get in the charms, please? Ooh. All right, this one went flying. Okay, oh, we have another letter, we have an E. So that exit, I don't know why I'm getting exit. Maybe it's time to leave. Some of you guys are leaving a situation uh, this week. All right, so we have always, we have love. We have a rocket ship, again, fast movement. We have a snowflake and, you know, um, a clover. It's a, a three leaf clover, but still I, I read any clovers as, as a sign of luck and a strawberry, which kind of see as a fresh new start. So, um, I'm hearing unique love coming in quickly for, for some of you guys. Uh, but just, just this, propelling yourself forward. It's just going to be a, a week of, I know I keep saying this clicking and moving forward movement. Um, this bolt here. So um, all of a sudden here, tighten up, like tighten up your loose ends, make sure all the bolts are, are tightened uh, for um, like dot your I's and cross your T's this week and make sure all your loose ends are tightened up so you can move forward without any bumps in the road. Uh, the snowflake is always kind of just a unique, so there's going to be a unique experience, maybe something that, um, I'm hearing somebody had like this crazy idea in their head, like, uh, um, uh, like a scenario they imagined, and it's actually going to come to fruition this week, which is really interesting. And there's strawberry, I'm hearing like a fresh new start and then luck and always like I'm hearing always believe in yourself, always trust yourself, always follow your your gut um let's see if anything else comes up i'll kind of let you guys look at those i know you guys all have meanings for yourself um but i think that's it for pile one um i think that's all the messages i got for you guys today as always i appreciate you guys being here with me um, and joining me on my readings i'm trying to get back into the groove of being consistent about them uh but that is one of my New Year's goals. So being back to meeting with you guys several times a week and doing all kinds of readings. So also if there's any um, readings that you guys would like to see on my channel, feel free to drop those in the comments below as well. All right, guys, thank you so much and I'll see you in another reading. If you're sitting there, hello. I know some of you guys do. I try to clean up as I go. I'm always on a time constraint to do these. Okay, pile two, angel. Delta a little bit, okay. Hello, my lovely friends for pile two. You guys picked this lovely angel that I picked up and it says, I don't know, you probably can't see it with my lighting, but it says, all is well with my soul. And that just really spoke to me. So I picked her up and I really love angels. So um, I have this cool little shop close to my house. All right, so <laughs> 
we are focusing on what to expect in the week ahead. I'll be pulling charms and letters um, at the end, so don't forget to stick around for that. And we'll start with your tarot. So your overall energy this week is you guys have the Strength card and the Six of Cups. There could be a Leo involved this week. That is the Leo card. Obviously, we have a lion on there. Um, I just hear a lot of reminiscing. Um, Six of Cups for me in my love readings is, is a soul level connection, a soul mate kind of energy um, coming through. But in general, it typically means being nostalgic, thinking about you know past loves, past happy memories. Um, sometimes it can mean someone coming back in from your past as well, or someone actually from your childhood as well, um, or just a past life. Uh, if you know, depending on your beliefs and stuff. Um, I never want to push mine on anyone, but for me, this is a soul level connection kind of card. So that might be the week your focus for for this week, and it could be actually a Leo for some of you guys coming back in. Um, if it's not, it's someone that's very strong, very proud. And this also could be you. I'm also hearing some of you guys will be stepping into your own power this week. Maybe remembering who you were. Um, that message just came in really clear. Like you guys have, like some of you guys have forgotten who you are. <laughs> the whole like Lion King thing just popped in my head. It's like, remember who you are. Um, remember who you started off to be. And if you've lost that a little bit, like it's time to stand in your own power. Uh, think about what Leos represent. They confidence, power, uh, they tend to like, you know, the limelight, but it's time to, and there's nothing wrong with that, but they're very confident in who they are, who they are creative, creatively um, and things. So I just feel like it's almost going to be, you remember who you are. I, I, I just keep hearing James Earl Jones' voice repeating in my head from Lion King um, about that. So very, very cool for that message, just to really ram in. Um, all right, so in love, I pulled two love cards. So you guys have embrace love. It says make space for another. Accept the connection for what it is. Embrace new opportunities. Embrace the blessings around you. Allow yourself to be open and vulnerable. Through embracing vulnerability, you find strength. <laughs> open your heart to accept and receive more love. And maybe that that remembering who you are, maybe, you, maybe you've been jaded in love. Maybe your heart has been closed. Uh, because of some things that have happened along your way and, and maybe you don't feel like that is who you truly are and it's time to open up your heart this week. Uh, and then you guys also have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to fun and sh like, blah, 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 spirit of fun to shine. I really, I, I love when all these cards kind of go together. I, I pull them all ahead of time and I don't look at them until I'm sitting here with you because that's part of the fun and I never want to miss a message because um, they come in and then they go. <laughs> um, but I love when like this playfulness is useful, remembering who you are, going back to your roots, uh, finding the fun in things. And if you don't have anyone in your love life, maybe this is just finding the things that you love in your life. Um, what brings you the most joy, the most happiness this week is really going to be just your focus. Um, okay, so for the sacred traveler, like where are you going? We have mystic healer. Healing energy flows through you. So for some of you guys, maybe you relate to being an actual healer. Uh, you know, I always talk about Reiki on here. Maybe get Reiki or maybe you've been thinking about looking into Reiki, but I'm hearing like there's a lot of wisdom within the people that pick this group. Um, you feel very connected. This is kind of reminds me of like the high priestess a little bit um, in the tarot. So you have like a very strong intuition, but it's such a like a clear, beautiful thing. And maybe, maybe that, yeah, this, this may just be for one person in this pile or a few of you guys. I just keep hearing like, don't let the crap that other people have stomped in your heart a little bit. Like, don't, don't let that change who you are at your soul's level. Like, you know this, like, you know, you're this healer. You know that you heal through love. Um, you have so much wisdom and you don't let what other people have done along the way jade you or, um, change who you are because you, you are needed. Um, and the beautiful soulful person that you are is definitely needed. Okay. 
I had to get that out. <laughs> All right, so for your spirit animal oracle, we have turkey spirit. So it says give gratitude and gr give with grat. I can't talk. <laughs> give with gratitude and grace. So, you know, um, in America, we tend to, you know, think of turkeys around Thanksgiving and things like that. So it's this whole like, what are you grateful for? If you feel a little lost in some stuff that has happened to you recently, just just simplify, simplify and go back to what it is you're grateful for, what you're thankful for in your life and just focus on those things. And, and as your vibration raises just from feeling differently and thinking about all the good things in your life, I think other things will shift for you guys this week. So where can you focus your, where can you focus your light this week? I pulled a um, Work Your Light Oracle card. This is one of my favorite cards. It's the Ever Unfolding Rose, cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So again, this message of like being like stepped on or not treated fairly or, or something like that um, that a lot of you guys have been going through, it, it's helped crack you open to really see the truth of who you are. And it's time to really step into that and re let all your beauty unfold. Um, like there's always so many layers to you that are just constantly unfolding. And sometimes going through hard things um, is what we need to go through, unfortunately, because it's happening for us, not to us, but it needs to crack that crack that hard exterior for you to open up and, and to really bloom. So, okay, and then I picked a, a healing card. So Whispers of Healing card, you guys, um, your area of healing is hydrate. So some of you guys may literally need to drink more water. <laughs> but for other of you guys, it could be that you feel connected through water. Um, I know personally that's a thing for me if I can't get to see water out in nature. I luckily live very close to the beach. Um, but, um, you know, I'm hearing like, you know, take a salt bath, uh, like a, a detox type bath, um, you know, or even a shower meditation. Anything that um, if you're feeling like stuck or overwhelmed, try to take a shower, even wash your hands. And as you wash your hands, like almost picture whatever is bothering you rinsing away like I'm letting go of whatever and let it wash down the drain is is what I'm seeing that just wash your hands of it like almost like you no longer need it wash your hands of this this experience but again it could just be drink more water it's really good for you <laughs> um all right let me see if any other messages come through for pile two I just feel like there's a lot of healers in this group maybe some self-doubt along with that but it's time it's time to really shine for you guys this week it's really it's it's your time to step into your power so all right so we will do some letters and charms and so for your zodiac dice let's see who you're dealing with this week <laughs> we have a leo guys i couldn't couldn't try, do that any harder than if i tried so you guys got the leo so let's see for a letter. Sometimes these are initials. Sometimes these are, you know, the letters of a place that might be important to you. Sometimes they spell words. So let's see what you guys got. So we have a G, an H, an F, a U, and an X. <laughs> it could be, uh, <laughs> that sigh. Um, so this could be someone's initials, could be some a place that's important to you, um, something like that. All right, so then for charm for pile two, what other messages can come through for pile two? These charms, please. I'm trying to dig to the bottom of my bag. I got a lot of charms in here. Ooh, okay. Some cool ones. Oh, we actually had the word cool. Let, we have a star, we have a compass, we have a key, we have love, we have this little globe. Some of you guys might be looking into traveling. I know that's a little hard right now, but maybe planning some, some traveling this week. I feel like I'm missing a message there. Maybe it'll come to me. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. So, um, I'm hearing the key to everything is in within you uh, to follow your own compass forward. 
like you have this this compass here we have a star we have elephants so elephants for me is kind of that reminiscent kind of thing because elephants never forget um, but it also could be family um, involved this week as well you guys have some love um, you know we did, you guys did have embrace love to, to let love in uh, I just realized let is there um, to really let love in um, in the back of this cool it says heart so cool heart uh, I'm hearing the song he's got the whole world in his hands so that might be relevant to someone I didn't almost want to say that but maybe that means something to one of you guys you know that song he's got the whole world in his hands <laughs> it's popping in my head um, but yeah so I think there yeah just to, to let your heart open to love this week is a big message here and this reminiscing about beautiful things and, and then might come coming back around for you guys. So pile two, I think that is it. Um, it's all the messages I got. So hopefully that resonates for you guys. Feel free to let me know. Um, and uh, thank you guys so much as always for being here with me. It's always truly an honor. I appreciate you guys so very much. And I'll see you in a future reading. Bye guys. Clean up a moment. <laughs> hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile three. You guys picked this hot air balloon. I love this little charm. Like I wish it was a tiny bit bigger. I feel like it's a little hard to see, but when I found it, I was like, I need to bring that home for my channel because I love hot air balloons. I think they're so beautiful. There's actually, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go off on a tangent. I don't know if anyone will know what band I'm talking about, but there is a band called Circus Survive. Um, I don't even know if they're still together, uh, but they have this artwork on one of their albums and it's called On Letting Go. And it's this girl and it's her body and then her head's this hot air balloon and it's the most beautiful picture. So um, maybe that's relevant for someone because I was kind of guided to share that. Um, look up that imagery and again, Circa Survive, like Circa 19 whatever, but Circa Survive. Um, and the album is called On Letting Go. And look at that artwork, I feel like it's gonna be relevant for for somebody if you feel drawn to do so if not don't worry about it let's jump into this and don't forget at the end I will be pulling charms and letters uh, so stick around for that so pile three overall energy we're gonna start with tarot so you guys have oh you have two fours so you have the Emperor and then you have the four of Pentacles so I'm hearing very grounded week for you guys, very stepping into um, authority maybe for yourself or dealing with an authority figure this week Four of Pentacles can sometimes be a greedy energy. It's like trying to hold close to your fortune. Like see how he's just like looking at these birds like don't touch my, don't touch my Pentacles. Uh, so maybe he'll be feeling a little like ugh, gripping to, um, I'm hearing gripping to your foundations this week. Um, maybe a little greedy. Maybe you're being guided to not share at all. Maybe keep some for yourself. If you're a tendency to person, and this goes against a lot of what I normally say. I'm such a giving person. Like you can have the shirt off my back and what kind of thing. But I'm almost feeling guided for something. Maybe this message is just for one person. And you know, you're debating on helping someone out and you're not quite sure. I'm, I'm kind of being guided to say, just, just hold on to it a little bit longer and really investigate something. Anywho, so back to everybody else. Uh, so yeah, we have some fours in here. But the emperor is all about confidence, authority, stepping into your power. Um, I'm also hearing divine masculine for some of you guys. Maybe you guys are be um, if you are rec you know, uh, recognize yourself as divine masculine, then it's going to be a week of that. Um, we all have divine feminine and divine masculine within us, so maybe this is a week that you're going to be stepping into that divine masculine a little bit more. Uh, I'm hearing charge forward with confidence, uh, but or and maybe just hold close to your foundations though. Don't lose sight of of what you've been building for yourself as you move forward. 
that's another message that came through. Let me see if anything else. I feel like I'm gonna be going back to that. I'm not sure why, but I feel like I'm not done with the message there, but I'm gonna keep going. So for love this week, you guys have reconnection. It says, this is a reconnecting or healing of a relationship. A connection is reigniting, rekindling, and reviving. This could be a relationship reaching a different level. Expe expect a healthy shift, change, or growth. This may pertain to healing family issues. I feel like we had that recently. Um, and then calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So for some of you guys, it, you know, this is going to be a soulmate-y kind of week. Like your soulmate's going to be coming in. Um, maybe reconnecting with someone that is a soulmate. So um, I do believe that we have multiple soulmates. Uh, so, you know, soulmates aren't always romantic, but um, it's just gonna be someone that your soul's gonna be clicking with. It's gonna be coming in or reconnecting, coming back, circling back around. But also I feel like this is maybe new for some of you guys. Okay. So for your sacred traveler, you guys have fellow travelers. Support is all around you. Maybe that's the other message about this. Your support's there. I don't know. Let's hear, keep hearing support, ground, foundation. Uh, I don't know why they keep just giving me that message. I'm going to try to keep going. <laughs> so support is all around you. Just know that you know, there's so much beauty around you guys this week. Like we have this beautiful um, peacock. We have a rainbow here. You know, he's looking at this this path that he's going on. There's just so much beauty, so much support. Um, just hearing, be grateful for everything around you, all your friends. Um, you know, there's just so much beauty in your life right now. So maybe it is time a time to take a moment and, and step back and, and stop and look at all that and appreciate that as well. Um, so for your animal spirit, you guys have rhino spirit. It says overcome any obstacle. So yeah, like you can overcome anything. You guys are the strong person. Maybe this week is about standing in your confidence finally and realizing what you deserve. Um, you know, and you can overcome anything and that there is support around you. So don't forget, not just with friends and family, but this does say fellow traveler. So I feel like, you know, friends and family, like your fellow people, but also, you know, from the universe, the divine, things like that. Um, you, you have all this support, so don't forget that. Don't get lost in being overwhelmed. And, and remember, you can ask your angels, guides, whatever you want to call them for help, and they can step in and help you, but you do have to ask. Um, so for working your light this week, it says, Imrama, where are you being called to journey to? So this, this is a card about really listening to your soul, really being pulled towards something. I'm trying to see how this all fits with everything else, but this card is really such a beautiful soul journey card. And it's about quieting yourself and listening where the, your call of your soul is going. Um, maybe where you're being pulled to go seems scary and hard. And maybe it seems like it's a huge obstacle to get over um, and, and you feel like you're alone. Uh, but just know that you, if you follow your heart, you follow your soul where it's calling you to go to, um, that support is all around you and as you take the steps to move forward do so with confidence and know that it's okay and and the universe will support you in your journey okay, so for healing <laughs> for healing I don't look at these cards before because I never want to miss a message but I love when they all kind of start fitting together um, for your healing it says your answers are within so everything you have is that you need for this journey that you need to go on is not only you have the support around you, you also have all your answers within, but sometimes we have to quiet ourselves a little bit to really hear it or to see where we're being pulled to. And when I talk about, you know, where's your soul being pulled? Where are your attentions, where, where your interests and stuff, even if they don't seem right for you or seem odd, um, investigate them a little bit. See where that's taking you. Why are you all of a sudden interested in this off thing that you never liked before? There's usually a reason behind it. Um, I'm also hearing for some of you guys, maybe look into meditating, maybe you should go into the new year. Uh, maybe you've thought about, um, you know, trying to start a meditative practice. 
uh, because you know prayers are like us talking to God or the universe and meditation is God or the universe talking to us so we have to silence ourselves in order to hear it um, it's the same thing if people if you wake up between three and four or three and five in the morning um, sometimes your your guides are trying to give you messages at that time because the world is quiet around us so if you ever wake up at that time and you're like oh, why do I keep waking up um, being guided is just sometimes you know ask your know, guided to tell you guys to ask your ask what what do you got what are you guys trying to tell me and then just be quiet and try to listen or maybe the dream that comes up afterwards is a message from you know the universe to you because everything is quiet and you can actually hear it and you're at a more like level of vibrational state actually your vibration raises a lot when we're sleeping um but i'm just hearing like everything you need is within yourself you just have to trust it and realize that, that you have this spark within you all along. Um, it's very like Wizard of Oz, like when he tells Dorothy that it was in within you all, all along. I don't think that's the exact phrase, but it's something like that. All right, let's go to your charms and letters. Now that I went really down a rabbit hole on you guys. All right, so let's pull Zodiac dice. So who may you be dealing with this week? Okay, so that is Capricorn, right? Yeah, Capricorn. Um, and let's pull some letters. All right, ooh, a lot of letters, okay. We have a Q, a P, a D, C, S, E, and an O. So lots of, lots of stuff. I know you guys like to spell things. You can spell things all you want, but um, there could be initials. These could be like a, a certain place, someone's name, um, a certain, I don't know, what, however relevant it is for you. Um, feel free to interpret those. And then let's pull some charms. All right, so for pile three, what other messages do they need this week? Please. Okay. All right. Woo. We have friend, which you guys have the fellow traveler. So I think friends are really important this week. Oh, we have some more letters. We have a U and a W. We have a cancer as well. And we have love with an arrow. We have a horse. We have a little angel praying. We have a butterfly. We have an angel wing. We have a snowflake and a flower and the word beauty. Beauty, my friend, beauty, my friend. So whenever, the snowflake comes up. I always feel like there's a unique experience that you're going to be going through this week, something really cool and exciting. So keep that in mind. We have a butterfly, which is about transformation. This whole prayer thing, I keep just hearing like just, if you can silence yourself, you'll, you'll hear everything you need to know. Um, and you are so supported, you know, not just here when with things you can see but the things that you can't see as well like you you have a lot of support coming in for you guys um, and love is going to be guiding your way um, or coming towards you quickly with this arrow um, we have this beautiful flower here kind of like a tropical flower um, so maybe that is relevant to somebody the horse I always think Kentucky <laughs> but I grew up for my early life I lived in Kentucky on really close to some horse farms so um, but horses are you know tend to be you know steady reliable sometimes lucky um, strength uh, so much beauty in horses we have this angel wing here so again we have this praying angel and this angel so I'm just hearing like it's okay to pray for the things that you want and be clear about what you're putting out in the universe that you want and then listen for your you know be quiet and listen for the answers um, See if anything else comes up. I always like you guys to look at them too. And don't forget we have a Capricorn and a Cancer uh, popped up here. Um, but you know, sometimes these mean something to you guys as well. So as always, I think that's it. Let me see if any other messages come through with what we got. I just feel like you, the angels are on your guys' side and it's time to like really put out what you want because you're gonna be able to move forward wherever you want to go no matter how crazy or hard it seems that you're going to be able to push past all this and maybe even fly away and float over it all uh, since you guys had the pick the hot air balloon you're just going to sail right over all these obstacles that are coming have been coming your way this week so thank you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this reading this is one of my favorite just fun readings to do um, and 
I appreciate you guys spending your time with me and I hope everyone is well. Bye guys.